Hello, Internetians. My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player, welcoming you to PML Season 4, Week Number 2, versus the Richmond Numbryons and Coach Callis Ray. <clears throat> now, I am not going to go over my team, I'm not going to go over his team because we put up an hour and 40 minute long video detailing my team, detailing what I'm bringing and what all the spreads are because we did it all live, which is crazy. Um, I do know, I probably put up an annotation or whatever, that there is probably some audio lag, but that problem has been fixed as you can see in this video, or you can't because it fucked up. But I'm very, very certain that I have that issue solved. Thank you to Skyler who helped me. There's the challenge. Alright, so, but as a quick recap, we will go over what we are bringing. We are bringing our Assault Vest, Physically Defensive, Tang Growth. We are bringing our Mixed Defensive, Mostly Specially Defensive, Wish Passing, Umbreon. We have our Spike Setting, um, Physically Defensive, Skarmory. We have our Stealth Rock, Life Orb, Mammoth Swine. We have our Black Belt, 3 Fighting Stab, Knockoff, Hitmonlee, and we have our Bulky Offensive, Latios. I predict that he is going to be bringing... There is no way he is not bringing out Lucario. No way in the world. I told him what I thought he'd bring. I was thinking Lucario, I was thinking Mega Aldino, I was thinking um, Registeel. I know those three for sure are coming. And the last three are kind of up there. I can see Ar Arcanine coming. I can see Latias coming. I can see my Lottie coming. Tyrantrum can come. Jolteon, I don't know if he'll actually come because I have Tang Growth which stops that. I have a Clade on a Mammoth Swine which both resists Volt Switch. And then I can see stuff like Dusclops coming. I don't see Sharpedo, I don't see Celebi, and Jolteon is very meh. Other than that, let's get into it. Finally, rematch. As he actually brings the Sharpedo. Okay, no Latias. You're a whore. Alright, so no Latias, which means I'm going to hazard sack the shit out of him. No Mega Aldino. Oh my god. That is amazing that there is no Mega Aldino. No Celebi, which is expected. No Milotic, which, thank god. And uh, no Latias, Milotic, no Mega Aldino, no Tyrantrum. So, <laughs> those last minute EVs on Umbreon are now worthless. Alright, great. So, potential leads on his part are the... Mm. So much. Um, I want to... Like, part of me wants to really tank growth, because he's probably going to lead Jolteon or maybe Lucario. But I don't want him to lead the Car um, Arcanine immediately. I'm going to lead Latios, or Latios, because it has the best general matchup against everything on his team. Right? Or do I want to lead you? No, because I don't want him to lead Jolteon and me be put behind the 8-ball. He actually leads... Oh, my God. Had a good matchup against everything, except for this. Now, my switch out could be pretty obvious, but I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. In case he goes for Protect. Now, I do have the Colbert Berry on here. So I can easily just knock this thing, directly knock this thing out. So the question now becomes, does he stay in thinking I'm Scarfed? Like, no matter what, I have Colbert, I kill this thing. But that leaves me pretty weak to Arcanine. That leaves me really weak to Arcanine. Do I want to take all this unnecessary damage? 
Because what can I heal up against? I know Arcanine. Why in the rain? Crutch. It's gonna do 82. Or it's gonna do about 80. 75 to 80. So I need to stay above that if I let this thing take care of my uh berry. I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt again. He goes out into Jolteon. And he's actually Quick Feet. Quick Feet for Scolipede? That's really nice. And you know what? Now he thinks I'm Scarfed. And that's very good. That's very good for me. Um, that's damage. And what I can do, I can just go into my... This also means it's not Specs. Which means I can handle it very nicely with my Tank Graph. Signal Beam doesn't do shit to me. And uh, he does not have an Earthquake immunity. So I'm just going to go for Earthquake. This is nice. This is really nice. I got my water. Got my Sheets water. Sheets. Feel the love. I feel like one day Adam Sheets is going to watch one of my videos and see me promoting Sheets all the time and be like, hey, look at that. And yes, it's called it's Adam Sheets. The company that or Sheets is actually a family-owned business, spanning six states, and they're all their last names are Sheets. And I've met Adam Sheets, which is cool. So, Mr. Callus, forty-one percent to my um, Tango spread. That's pretty interesting. I feel like that's uh, modest. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Tango can live a hit. From a life orb Arcanine. That's good to know, actually. Um, signal. He's still deciding what to do. Um, it looks like it could be Jolly. It could be either Jolly or. Timid. But I'm pretty sure it's timid. Or, or not. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I feel like it's modest. Oh my god. Challenge me. You see, he goes for Volt Switch. So I'm at about 50, 45%. If I switch out, I'll be at 78. And I just went for the Earthquake. I don't know why he didn't just immediately go for Volt Switch. Mr. Skullhead, so he does Frisk my Assault Vest, but I felt like that was pretty obvious. A uh, crit did 23. That's max defense. Is it? I mean, it's not. Oh my god, it's not. That's specially defensive. Whew, that's really nice. Um. I don't want him to burn me. Because if he does, then... This thing doesn't handle some... This thing can't get as much damage off on the rest of his team. I'm gonna go into my Umbreon. Because as far as special attackers... I'm not going to need it as much. Like, I do have it for Jolteon, but... Actually, why didn't I go out to... Oh, didn't I? And he just goes for the Wisp, and I am going to synchronize that onto him, which is very nice. I am just going to go for a Wish here. See what he wants to do. Nightshade. That's okay. And I can foul play this. Or actually, yeah, I'm just going to foul play this. As he goes into Lucario, which is very unfortunate. I do have my Skarmory, though. I am sturdy. 
So that's good. So, who dies? Riot is coming to your house. Who died? Oh. If he sets up an SD here, then that's a misplay. I think his play right now is close combat. I mean, do I really need Umbreon? Probably. I can't let him sit there and set up, though. Lucario at plus one. He probably does two K with Jarmory. Yeah, he does two K. Hmm. What does Tangro take? So I can live it if I go back out into it afterwards. Oh my god, I want this spike up so bad. And no matter what I feel like my play is Skarmory, this thing is such a problem. As he swords dances. Oh my god. Woo! Brave Bird, this thing is dead. If this thing close combats me right now, it's dead. And it's swords dance. It's physical, not special, which is really good. I did predict physical, like, but I was ready for special with like a bunch of things. Oh my god. Whew, I was so hoping he was sword stance. He close combats. I have sturdy, and I know that was going to bring me down. Rocky helmet. Life orb. Brave bird. Gone. Unfortunately, I don't get spikes up this match. Skarmory kills Lucario with brave bird. Okay, kind of an issue that we don't have Skarmor anymore. Skarmory dies to Brave Bird Recoil Lucario. Okay, so what gives me between the best position? You know what? I feel like this is a free kill for Mammoth Swine unless he goes to like. I'm gonna go to Mammoth Swine. Go to Archman. Can I live a hit? Not a close combat. I'm going to Latios. If this thing is defensive, I'm going to scream. Because an offensive Arcanine blows me away. Close combat. 28. That is... Life Orb or Bandit? Life Orb. So it's Jolly Life Orb. Which means it's probably E speed crunch, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Thunderbolt at minus one is about 60%. 
If I drop a Draco on Registeer, I'll get a good amount of damage either way. I'm just gonna drop a Draco. Drop, 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 drop a Draco. Registeel, yep. Never mind! It would have been like four anyway. Hitmonlee. Yes, Uncle Sam is recording. My nephew is here. And I'm in here. Hmm, priorities. Man, that would have been sure that there was in range of this. He's gonna hard end Hitmonlee. He's gonna throw Thunder Wave, isn't he? Is he gonna Thunder Wave? He probably is. Doesn't matter. I'll be fine. He actually just Iron Heads. Just a thousand. Now I'm doing close combat. I have no reason not to. It most likely kills this. And if he goes into Dusclops, then I don't have to worry about. He's physically defensive. He has a really good chance to kill unless he's physically defensive. Because I think he'd be physically defensive. That miss really sucks because now I don't know if he's physical or special, physically defensive or specially defensive. That miss is so obnoxious to the point where Latios plus Tangrowth might have to uh, just wall his entire team. Going to the clubs, he does. And now I can just knock off. Right? Does it kill? Knock off does kill. And there goes the dust clubs. Hitmonlee kills the thing. Dusclops with What am I trying to do? Knock off. Oops. Okay, so Mammoth Swine. Looks like he's gonna do a lot of work. What does a minus one mock punch do to Arcanine? He's gonna do like 20%. Yeah, it's 20 to 24. I want to say this because if I get this thing back in on Registeel, I get a kill. Every single time. No matter what. I will kill something. I'm going to go to Umbreon because if he does go for Crunch, I don't really need Umbreon as much because I, well... Yeah. I mean, I have ways to handle the... Jolteon, now that I know it's Flame Orb and not anything else. Got him! CC will probably kill me. <laughs> CC probably does just blow me away. 62 to 79. Tis a roll! that I will not get. I'm not getting this roll. I can already tell you that much right now. I'm still clicking foul play though. It's like a 50-50 roll, which is so obnoxious. Look at that. Oh, it's not, it's not 62, 79. All right, it's 67 to 29, 72. 
67 to 79. Fuck. He's getting that roll. I'm doing foul play. He probably thinks he's gonna kill because he probably thinks it's especially expensive or some shit. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna kill from his range, but it's uh, it's a roll in his favor. But if he CCs, I go to Latias and. fact that he crunched, I mean... Look at my team. That kind of makes me think that he might be Wild Charge and uh, Flare Blitz. Because he's definitely Flare Blitz. He's either Wild Charge or Extreme Speed. And that kind of makes me think he might be Wild Charge now. Because... And I guess my Hitmonlee... He should, if he had extreme speed, he could have should have clicked it because it would have two hit KO'd Latios, Latios from the point it was at. So I think he has wild charge. He actually goes for crunch again. Nah, bro, this is my least valuable mon. But now I'm 100% in range of close combat. Can I save this though? Ooh. He takes two more life orb hits. He is in range of mock punch. Minus one from him only. He's in range of um like not mock minus one after this. What is my best play? If I go to Latios, if he crunches, I'm blown away and then I'm in a really bad spot. Palladios only handles the Arcanine from this point. Right? The Cobra Berry would actually be nice for um, Sharpedo. So if I can kill it this way, that's what I'm going to do. Arcanine versus him only. I want to make sure that without that Intimidate, I can kill it. Let's go for foul play again. He's actually gonna morning sun. That's his last move. He does not have E speed. That's bad. Damn, what I'm thinking about morning sun. So no wild charge, no extreme speed. Which is good, no extreme speed, but. I should have wished at some point. <laughs> so I could look close to combat and blow him away. I'm gonna wish now. He's my crunch. Actually, let's just sit back for a second. Sit back, relax for a second. Let's check up on my phone. See what's going on with life. Because, what am I wa what was I watching? What was I on YouTube? Oh, yeah, because last night I was listening to Geronimo. So say Geronimo, say Geronimo, say Geronimo, say Geronimo, say Geronimo, say Geronimo, say Geronimo. I'm gonna wish. He still hasn't clicked. Oh my god, he's so nervous. What would I even wish up against? Reggie Steel. Now I'm thinking about going at Elias, because now I feel like I can wish up and possibly stall out almost everything on his team other than the stupid Arcanine. If I go Latias now, I live he does not have extreme speed. If he does, 
If he doesn't, if his last move is extreme speed, then he's walled by Tangrowth and uh, just Tangrowth. But if he does not have extreme speed, that's good. If he goes for Crunch right now, no matter what, I can go to Latios, Latios here and be safe and double into Hitmonlee. That's what I'm going to do. I think I can go to Latios right now. We're turning into a sack. Actually, looks like it might just wall everything on this team. Well, maybe not wall, but what's Jolty on that? It's getting close. Jolty on getting closer to range for God. If I was able to get up my, he actually goes for crunch. Damn. Oh, by the way, I'm not Story Scarf. I'm Colberry. How are you doing, Callus? Two plays. Double into Hitmonlee. Don't double into Hitmonlee. Oh, by the way, not Scarf. I'm gonna drop a Draco. It is my safest play. If he stays in, it's gone. If he goes into register, I can uh, roost up and get he gets some help back. So set Geronimo. Set Geronimo. Set. This Arcanine is such a problem. Should have brought more to add to beat it. Damn, one of the double so bad. Twenty one percent. That's physically defensive. And he's not leftovers. I can roost here. Get back some HP. That way I'm out of range of that crunch. <laughs> Set Geronimo. What's a very safe switch here? Not him only. Oh my god, I want I'm gonna wall half the team. Don't I beat this? I mean I know I'm not doing anything to it right now. I'm not going to be. I can just chip away at this thing. It actually goes back into Arcanine. Yeah, I bet beat that thing 1v1. And at this range, Draco does not kill it. But life or will. Drop another Draco. Let's drop another Draco. Is that gonna kill it? Did he tell me he did not morning? Son of a bitch! <sighs> D. 
Damn. 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 Who's my least valuable member? Part of me wants to say Dumbrown, but it's also it's probably this Latios. Latios. But I need it. This actually like beats half his team. Okay, let me think really far ahead. I go to Umbreon in a second. God, the fact that he has Morning Sun is so freaking obnoxious. If I can get rid of those Morning Suns, that'd be fine. But this Toxic is gonna help. I want to sack Umbreon. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna sack Umbreon. This is I have to sack Umbreon. Crunch doesn't even kill, so if he goes for Crunch right now, he's kind of fucked. If he goes out into the Registeel, I get a Wish. If he goes out... If he doubles into something, then we could have problems. I was thinking he could double into Sharpedo, which was a very good play on his part. But I do have Tangrowth, which can stop it. And Sharpedo has no... Like, its bulk doesn't even fucking exist. Versus Hitmonlee. Hundred and eighteen percent. Damn. He goes for crunch, doesn't even kill. Which means I can go into Hitmonlee and I can collect mock punch. It will kill this thing. And I get all my HP back. Why did he crunch? Dude, that misplay might have just really that might have just put him so much on the back foot. He goes for protect. I'm going for my punch, buddy. Thanks for all that AP. Mmm. Back up a ball. Back up at ball. Good boy. Woo. Now it becomes <laughs> I think it becomes now do I have more sacks than him? That toxic is gonna help with the um Yeah. Alright. Because here's the thing. Wait. No! I was just gonna say he goes to Arcanine here. Arcanine to live the mock punch and I can hide jump kick and kill it. Now we're back in this scenario. So say Geronimo, say he Geronimo, say Geronimo, say Geronimo, say Geronimo. T ball here. All oh, right, something killed something. Who burned Umbreon? Dusclops killed. Oh my god, he did that T wave. Kills. He's gonna pair punch me, you 
bastard. What does Dust Clocks kill? Umbreon with burn damage. Reggie still could probably still live. Can I have Thunderbolt here? I don't know what his last move is. What is his last move? Hmm. He might be rest our chest though. I think I can go into Hitmonlee here. I go Hitmonlee, I click I jump kick, and then all of a sudden something's dying. Yeah, he'll just set. Yeah. No, he can't go work tonight. Okay, yeah, this is my best play. And if he doubles into Arcanine right now. What a match, by the way. What a match. Hands off to Callus right now. Showing why he's the champion. If I go hit Monley right now, I cancel. If I go hit Monley right now. If he tries to double into Arcanine, he switches first, he doesn't get the Intimidate, I get 30% off and we'll kill it no matter what. Yeah. If he goes Charpedo Dark Killer, if he goes you, that's perfectly fine. Because I can live a hit. What'd you do? The Iron Heads. And just to make sure, Reggie Steel. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's his. <laughs> Look at that set for a second. Look at that, Reggie Steel set. I ran that in the uh, CBL Thunder Wave, HB Bug, Stealth Rock, and Iron Head. Oh my god. Can he live it with. Oh, he might live it if he's Choppleberry. If he's Choppleberry, then this game is over. But I think, I think he's either Shookaberry for Mamoswine, because he's specially defensive Duskloth and he has no other way to take it on, or he is Resto Chesto. But I'm re now that I'm thinking about it, I really think he's, um, I really think that he's a uh, Shookaberry with counter or some random cool thing. That last move is kind of killing me, though. It's that last move that bugs me. Okay, so let's play a few... Let me think ahead. He sacks... No matter what, something is going to die to this high jump kick. Whether it's Registeel, whether it's Sharpedo, something's going to die. He's probably, probably going to sack off Sharpedo. So he sacks Sharpedo. He goes into Arcanine. He actually takes Jolteon, which is really cool. Because I handle... It doesn't matter. No matter what, I click high jump. Wait. Son of a bitch! I lose. I lose. There's nothing I can do.
Jolteon can do. Wait, he might have this. It might still work. That's about how weak. He's pretty weak right now. Can't really do anything to my Amazon. Maybe H V water, but whatever. Okay. So here's what I do. Here's what I do. I go to Mamoswine. I click Stealth Rock, and I kill the Arcanine with rocks. If he stays in and attacks me, that's fine. Because he can't Oko me, and then I can pick him off with Ice Shard the next turn. You die, you die. Leaves the... How fast would he be with Sharpedo? How much can you really invest into special attack? Choice Scarf tip on me. So not a lot. Hell, he might even be jolly. Or naive, I don't know. Okay. Sixty-four ice beam to my tangro spread. Yes. All right. So go to this. I click Stealth Rock. And then when Sharpedo comes in... I EQ and... I... Do I EQ or do I Ice Shard? Doesn't matter, really. Look at all these battle spot singles things. Focus ass, assault vest, rocky helmet, bro. Let me see that. Mm, no, we gonna we gonna check this out now. Callus, Callus just hacks me. He can wait. Wait, where's this rocky helmet? Look at that spread. Oh my God, rocky helmet. What? What is this? Defensive? Defensive Mammoth Swine? What? Mega Salamis, Kangaskhan. Okay. Okay, guys. Defensive Mammoth Swine. You better believe I'm bringing it. Alright. Yeah, I can just Ice Shard. Whatever. It doesn't matter. No matter what, I click Stealth Rocks. He still has Sugar Berry um, Reggie still in the back though. At this point, it's it's Sugar Berry. He doesn't even need Sugar Berry. Look at this. Look at this pathetic damage. Wait. No, I like four. <laughs> Depending on what his hidden power is. Maybe. Just maybe. I mean, I already know it's Sugarberry. If not, 59%, I kill it. I should have CC'd. Hyper voice. 
Alright, you know what? That's kind of cool. I'll give him that. 47%. So maybe I can live this Iron Head? Nah, probably not, but whatever. No, I can't because of Light Orb. So I air shard this and I kill it. Oh, I didn't record this. Hitmonlee dies to a miss. Dies to HJK crash damage. Amoswine kills Jolteon with Ice Shard. Let me think. Arcanine is dead. Thank God. That was the biggest threat at that point. There's no reason for me to click EQ. No matter what, I just click Ice Shard. Get off some damage. As he crunches and he kills me. Sharpedo kills Mamoswine with Sharpedos. Multiple Sharpedos. I typed, <laughs> did I typed Sharpedos. So, Callus's 12 Sharpedos killed my mammoth swine. A little bit of overkill, but you know, whatever. Crunch. So, I go into this. And there is, unless he is like. Which God knows he might be. Unless he is modest, even even if he's unless he's modest max special attack life orb, he needs to get a max roll with ice beam to kill it. What is my play? EQ. EQ is my play because if he goes out into Reggie Steel, it helps me. All right, EQ. Holy. Fucking shit. He cannot kill me if he's adamant life orb with crunch. The only way he can kill me is if he's max special attack, modest, with ice beam on a max roll. He sacks Arcanine. What does Iron Head do to me? <laughs> but like ice punch or some shit. Which in all honesty, that could be a last move. <laughs> it's still so trash. <laughs> Alright, we're EQing popping the sugar berry. Yep, there it is. Sugar Berry. Crit. Fuck. Don't give a flying shit. Nope. 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 Uh, nope. Here we fucking go.
Registeel kills Latios with Iron Head. So far, everything on his team has gotten a kill except. No, wait. What's the only thing that hasn't gotten a kill on his team? <laughs> the one thing I was so scared of! Alright, it comes down to this, and I'll uh, say Tangrowth kills Registeel with Earthquake. If I get full parrot, I lose. Or if he's modest max special attack and gets a high roll. I have a 1 in 4 chance of losing this battle. That is so much bullshit! That is literally the dumbest ass fucking thing ever! Torpedo kills Tangrowth with Clutch. Even after the miss high jump kick, I put myself in a position where I could win. And I didn't. All right, 54 minutes, wow. All right, well, we're 0-2, woo.